Good afternoon. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. We are back again to our English grammar for francophone. This book is titled English Grammar for Francophone because we mix up French and English so that they can understand better. Today's lesson is about adjective. Adjective, and let's quickly have a look at the objective in this lesson. By the end of the lesson, the people will be able to, one, identify the positive, comparative, and superlative form of irregular adjectives. Two, use the appropriate forms of adjectives in sentences. Study the following. The boy came here yesterday. The boy came here yesterday. Two, B, the fat boy came here yesterday. When you study carefully the two sentences, you can see that in the first sentence, nothing is describing the boy. You are just mentioning the boy. But when you go to the second sentence, the boy is being described by a word, which is fat. So we can conclude that the word fat here is the adjective, because that word is showing the particular boy we are talking about. You see the fat boy. Now, what can we say about adjective? If boy is a noun, and the word comes before the boy describes the noun, so it means that an adjective is a noun that describes, is a word that describes a noun. It often comes before the noun it describes. That's what we see on your screen. Let's go and have a look at how adjective describe noun. It describes noun by showing the kind of noun. These are called qualitative adjectives. Can you repeat? Qualitative adjectives. Examples. I, am, I hate using red shirts. Red shows the kind of shirt. OK? Two. By showing the quantity of nouns. And this one, they are called quantitative adjectives. They talk about quantity here. Example, I need four boys. The word four shows the number of boys. The next one, pointing to nouns. Pointing to nouns. They are called demonstrative adjectives. Demonstrative adjectives. Examples, those boys are rascal. Those is a demonstrative adjective and it qualifies the noun or point to boys. Okay, all right. So we've gotten how nouns describe, how adjectives describe nouns in three forms. Let's go to the next one. By asking questions, refer to as WH question. The adjective that you are going to see begin by WH, WH throughout. They are called interrogative adjectives. Here they are. What, who, which, when, whose, etc. Example, whose book is this? Akisekaye, whose book is this? Who has done this? Which road leads to your house? Which road leads to your house? Now, let's describe or see, have a clear look at the sentences. In the examples, who's in one qualified books? Who's in one qualified books? You should understand that. What in two qualifies pers what in two qualifies person? And which in pray? Which in pray? It is who in two qualifies person. Who in two qualifies person? Which in three qualify roles? So what can you say about interrogative adjectives? 
So the derogative adjectives are in this state here. They are whose, which, and who. They are whose. I conclude that the qualitative adjective, sorry, the interrogative adjectives here are whose, which, and who. Finally, the qualitative the adjective also described now by having this one that we call possessive adjective, which qualifies nouns and show ownership. So adjective also show ownership and they are called possessive adjective. And the possessive adjective are as follows. My, your, his, her, it, for singular noun, our, your, their, for plural noun. That's the possessive adjective. Examples. I need my phone. My is a possessive adjective. It is in the first person singular. And it qualifies my phone, the noun phone, which shows the owner of the phone. It is first person singular as well. The apostle has come. There is adjective. And it qualifies the noun person and shows the owner of the person. That is third person plural. They are person. Let's conclude on this. How do adjectives describe noun? They describe adjective describe noun by showing the kind of noun that's the qualitative adjective by showing the quantity of noun, quantitative adjectives, by pointing out nouns, demonstrative adjective, by showing ownership, possessive adjective, and by asking questions, whose, what, which, interrogative adjective. So in conclusion, we have five categories or five groups of adjectives. These are what you see on your screen. I entreat you to watch and practice in your book so that you'll be able to understand it better. Better stay, you can still watch the video over and over again. Thank you very much for being part of today's lesson. And I wish you good luck as we take the journey with what is school of languages. Until then, I would like to say very big thank you. But before we leave, let me remind you that in our next lesson, we are going to have the kinds of adjectives kinds of adjectives in details, the one that you just saw. So you are going to have there in details. Merci, au revoir, goodbye.